Remember, if you're working in a hot area, stay cool with a fan. It, doesn't, it helps majorly. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. So just like so you guys know, my hat did come in. This thing is awesome. I'll be wearing this all the time now. I, I'm a hat guy, I love hats. So this is available in the store. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, this thing's awesome. It looks really good and I love it. So it, my tire is majorly screwed. Uh, I, I'm tired of filling it up every two days, but now it only, uh, tire only inflates about 12 hours. Then it's, it's completely flat right now and I uh, filled it up last night. So what we're going to do today is we are actually going to take the tire off, put the spare on, and I'm going to inspect the tire to see if I'm able to use just a tire patch kit. If not, I'll take it in to see if the mechanic can take care of it. Worst case scenario, I need a new tire. So let's do that really quick and then let's see what is wrong with this tire. Remember when you secure your jack, make sure it's in the proper spots. I think my jack just failed. Yep, my jack just failed. I have this jack for like five years. Yep, my, my jack just failed. So already, I got a new one. Yeah, so the other one that I bought, oh, I bought the other jack at Walmart for like 60, 70 bucks about nine years ago, so. It served its purpose. So now I got a Husky one. Model number for this is, I think, 1,026778. And I also got a tire repair kit for eight bucks. Now at home, over, I got this at Home Depot by the mechanic section where the, you get your oil, uh, you get the, the oil and the toolboxes. Husky also makes one by the air compressors, but I decided to get this one. Let's raise this up. Everything's good.
I don't hear any leaking, which is fantastic. Any leaking whatsoever. So let's put this back onto the car. Perfect. Now remember to put these all in a star. So when you actually tighten it, Then after that, what you do, because it's on there, now what you want to do is use a, a torque bar and put those on with the proper torque settings. You should only need a smidge more. Alright, so we are ready to, ready to put this down. Let's see how it is. There's my piece of wood. Now remember, use a piece of wood because it'll prevent like metal on metal. This will give a little bit of give when it comes to being in an area. It'll dent the wood instead of bend the metal. Alrighty, so that is, that's how you really uh, fix a patch on a tire. I knew it was there. I was filling my tire up for the past like every two days, but then it turned to be every day. Uh, then that's when I said, that's it. I have to replace this now. The last thing I have to do to the car is really get a gas cap because my service engine light just keeps coming on. And that usually is the gas cap because there's a vacuum that uh, the gas cap is uh, sealing. And if that gas cap leaks, if there's a sensor that reads that you need service on the engine, which the gas, the gas cap is malfunctioning. So I'm going to do that next. Because like I said, I'm more of a mechanic than I am a carpenter. Doesn't mean I'm a professional mechanic by any means. I just work on my own uh, engines, cars, boats. You know, when it comes to carpentry, I'm really not that great with a tape measure. So I really suck as a carpenter, but I am learning. And so, yes, yeah, so, so because I have a lot to do to the house and I got to keep this stuff up. I got to rotate the tires soon. I got to change my rear brakes. Please like this video and hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.